<laughs> Welcome to 686. It's just about 11 p.m. It's 5 of 11. And check this out. This, this is what yesterday consisted of. We already talked about it then. I don't know why uh, paranormal activity is not in that list, but it's not. So today, um, why didn't I film anything? Well, I sat at my desk for a couple hours and went through a lot of emails, some YouTube stuff, um, studied for a physics exam tomorrow for about an hour. It's all pretty basic stuff. Work and energy and units of energy and conversions, large calories, small calories, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin, and absolute zero and sublimation. Um, yeah, it's really logical. I like that class. So I did that for a bit, and then we went out to dinner. I didn't film that. It was with my grandmother. Um, came back here, hung out with Kenan for a little bit. Um, that's it. So I'm going to talk about those Macs. This is kind of going to be a one-take video. A couple days ago, if you don't know, you're under a rock. Apple released a new MacBook Pro 13-inch Retina. Um, you know, they did the 15-inch Retina. It got rid of the DVD drive. Super thin case, beautiful Retina display. Really like it. Problem being, um, it's now a, what is it, 2500 by 1800 resolution screen or something crazy. Uh, and the graphics cards they're using are very powerful, but think about what it has to drive. And when you scroll on a web page or something, it's choppy. So I think that, like anything, with the first generation of a product, it's, you know, really exciting. The first generation iPhone, when it came out, it was mind-boggling. And a year later, they do so many improvements to it, it makes the old one just look like, why did I even use that? It, it didn't have 3G, it was a foot thick, it was slow. You couldn't do SMS on it or MMS or whatever. So, but, you know, it's like that with anything. An iPhone 5 now makes the 4S look junky, and I was the first one to jump all over the 4S and get that, and now it's fat and heavy, and it's like a little midget. <laughs> Sorry. It's like fat bastard. Anyways, uh, so the 13-inch Retina, I used it in the store on Friday. Love the form factor, love the resolution. Do not love the fact it's only integrated graphics, and there's no uh, quad-core options for the CPU. We are losing the optical drive, that's okay, I've been living with that one for a while. Sometimes it's annoying if I did go with the Retina, when I go with the Retina MacBook Pro, I will have to get the SuperDrive USB, whatever, for it, or Thunderbolt SuperDrive, or whatever they're calling that. So the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro is awesome. Definitely get that over the older 13-inch, it's a couple hundred dollars more, similarly uh, spec'd or equipped, uh, but I think it's worth it for the beautiful form factor, and if you haven't seen that display, it's breathtaking. Uh, next, iMac. No Retina display, they're still doing the 1080p on the 21.5 inch model and the 1440p on the 27 inch model. There are quad core CPUs available and i5 and i7s. Super thin, the side of it, five millimeters. That's not all like that. When they brought it up and it was that thin, I'm like, no way. There's no way there's a computer in there. I'm just thinking of how would you put a, a CPU in that? How would you put a GPU in some sort of cooling heatsink fan to keep everything cool? Um, and it, at its thickest point, it's probably still an inch or two, and that, but that's in the middle, so it's kind of like a, I can't really see that, it's, it's like this, you know? Uh, but it's really cool. However, I don't want to have more than one Mac. I want everything to be on one computer, as much as I would love to have an iMac on my desk and carry a MacBook Air to and from uh, Kent State. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. Even with documents in the cloud and stuff, iTunes, I, I need all of that, I need my photos, and I don't want to have to sync back and forth between machines. So, my next computer, I would like to wait for the next 15-inch MacBook Air, or MacBook uh, Retina Pro, where they will increase the specs, lower the price, you know, it'll just be a fix all the problems in Gen 1, Gen 2 upgrade, which will probably be within six months to a year from now. So, that's what I'm looking forward to. Also, Mac Mini, I uh, don't think there's a change in form factor, there are quad-core CPUs available, so that's excellent, and it's the little cheap one, since you have to go out and buy a screen, a mouse, and a keyboard with it. Uh, and those things from Apple's probably too grand. This is a really long clip. I'm sorry, we're at four and a half minutes. So, uh, those things. The iPad Mini. Steve didn't want that. Steve's gone. They did it. Not saying I disagree, but I don't see a use for it in the market. In Colt's vlog yesterday, he held the, uh, was it the Samsung, or the Galaxy Note, or whatever that thing is? That was like the size of an iPad Mini. The way he held it in his hand looked like maybe 10% smaller than an iPad Mini. How do you use that as a phone? Anyways, off topic. iPad Mini, not going to buy one. I think it is decently priced starting at 329 but if you want 64 gigs, you might as well just get a 32 gig iPad. Um, I just don't see use for it. 
haven't seen one yet, haven't held one in my hand, I'm sure I will absolutely love the way they built it, the build quality, the form factor, the way it feels in the hand, but I just don't see it something that I would have in my portfolio. There's no reason to have an iPad and an iPad mini and an iPhone and a MacBook Pro. Before, they could make a solid argument that in a tech user's life, it would be uh, worthwhile to have the three devices, iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And now that they've broken the iPad in half and kind of made a higher-end version that's larger and a lower-end version that's every inch an iPad, as they claim, I think it's just being competitive with uh, the Kindle and all the little e-readers. So it's super portable and just something to read a book on and maybe go look at the web and do a couple apps. But it would just be annoying. For me, it would be like going back to an iPhone for the reason I would have an iPad, to sit down on the couch and just browse the web or watch some YouTube videos or play x -Plane. So cool device. Not saying I'll never have one, but I don't need it right now. I think that's everything Apple did uh, last week. Now, iTunes 10 point, is it 7? 11? iTunes 11. That was supposed to come out in October. Today is the 28th. It'll be the 29th in an hour and, and 59 minutes from now. So maybe we'll see that this next week. I would like to see it. A little UI refresh probably. But let me know if you know when that's coming out. It still says coming in October. So that is what I have to say about the Max. And uh, that's all the time I'm going to take from you guys today. So thanks for watching today. Hope you had an excellent weekend. We'll start off the work week. We are totally getting Hurricane Sandy up here. The whole East Coast is covered in clouds, 40s and 50 degree weather, and lots of rain. It's been raining all day. It's about 40 degrees out there right now. It sucks. And that's going to stick around until Saturday. Then the sun comes out and goes up to 50 again. What do you freaking do? I've got leaves to do next door out the yin-yang. Got a couple here, two yards to mow over there, and then I'm pretty much done. So I need that couple nice days and nice weather to get out there, get my stuff did, and uh, get ready for snow, which they say may be coming. If we have this northeaster come down and, and bring in freezing air, it'll freeze the rain, it'll turn into snow, and it'll be a big mess on top of the leaves. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I would kind of like to see snow. I like snow and cold weather for about two weeks, usually around Christmas, but that's not what happens here. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow, Monday on what will be a pretty decent day, I think. Two classes, physics exam, which means we'll get out of there a couple minutes early and some math in the morning, no big deal. Talk to you then. Thanks for listening to the rant. Leave me your thoughts below. Or not the rant, but the information. Leave your thoughts. Talk to you later. Good night.